everyone. I'm Lala. Welcome. I know you're looking at my face. You're like, what's going on? We had issues. We had technical difficulties this morning. So today we're doing a versus video. High-end versus affordable. Is it possible to get the same look using different price range items? Yes, it's possible. We're going to try it. We're going to try it today. So um, I already pre- start it and then i was like oh let me film this this might be a good idea because i was just going to shoot it for instagram and see if anyone could tell the difference so here we go maybe i might still do that who knows on this side this is going to be the bougie side the more high-end more pricier items and this side is going to be the new the more affordable um drugstore items so far can you tell the difference this side over here I primed with the say, what's it called? I should know this by now. The Glow Super Gel Sun Glow. On this side, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Beam Dream Glow. Um, I I love this one before I love this one. I cheated on this one with this one, and um, I'm kind of sorry, girl. I mean, this is how it is sometimes. <laughs> now for foundations, I'm gonna do a skin tint. And on this side, I'm going to be using Fenty um, Ease Drop in the color 13. And then on this side, I'll be using the Morphe 2 in the color Hint of Caramel. Um, I think I did a better color selection in the Fenty than I did in this one. I think this one's a little bit more oranger. Um, but hopefully we could fix that with the concealer. You know I love a challenge, so let's just get into that part of the video. And I'm just going to put her like in the... This is how I do my makeup. And excuse me if I'm looking into the camera, but that it is what it is, girl. At this point, y'all know better. See, she's a little bit more orangier. More waterier for sure. But I feel like the formulas are kind of the same. You see what I'm saying? It's just a tad bit or a little oranger, but it's okay. We'll work it out. All right, moving on to concealers. Now, the concealers I have are my favorite. They're both my favorite. They're both my ride or dies. I cannot choose. Don't, don't ask me. <laughs> this is the Clinique. Um, it's called the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser, and it's in the color Deep Neutral. And this is the um, e.l.f. Uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer, and it's in the color Medium Golden. So, let's do the pricier one. And since we're good, I'm just going to just conceal my eyes. Like, we're good on the complexion. And on this side, I'm going to... I'm going to just go a little bit more just so that um, it, it looks more lighter. Just I'm going to do the old version of how we do concealer. Just I'm going to do that. Bring it down a little bit more so that um, it just looks lighter. That's the trick. <laughs> all right moving on to under eye powder on this side we have charlotte Tilbury. it's my favorite it's dirty i don't care it's my favorite it's the airbrush flawless finish and this is another favorite of mine this is the um rimmel stay matte powder uh the color that i have in this one is two medium and this color is 004 Sandstorm. I'll do the drugstore first. And just I'm just lightly tapping that in. And I do my top lid just to um, get it ready for shadow. And then I always do a hair on the side of my nostril. And that's what I do with this powder, which is the under eye powder. Ooh. 
Moving on to all over face powder because I do you I that's my method. On this side, my favorite, the Dior uh, Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder in the color 4N. And then on this side, I have the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Finishing Powder in the color medium. So we'll start with the drugstore. And this kind of has like um, like a, a satiny finish. So I just do this. This is how I do mine. And then I just go all over the face like this. Kind of press it in. I do the same thing, just for bronzing or contour. I am going to be using for the high end side. This is the Alamore contour palette, and this is what she looks like. This is powder. And then for the drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Mermumu Butter Bronzer Palette. And this is what she looks like. So I'm just going to get into this here. I'm going to be using this one here. This one, for some reason, is way pigment more pigment than that one, isn't it? Look, look at that. Y'all see that? But it blends out really nicely, so I'm not worried about it. Now, for highlighter, I'm going to be using these. This is actually a, a blush. It's That's what they call it. Elk Cosmetics Raw Honey Blush. Digital Dust Duo Blush. Um, but... To me, it's kind of like a, a it's like a highlighter to me because of my skin tone. I just go into it both kind of like this. This is just to give me a very natural, luminous, summertime glow. And this is the Milani uh, Soleil Baked Bronzer. Look at that. <laughs> All right, moving on to blush. The blush I'm going to be using on this side, this is the Milani uh, Bronze Burst Color Harmony Blush Palette. And on this side, I'm going to be using the MAC um, Sheer Tone Blush in the color Peaches. So we'll do the, the MAC first. Very light. Hey, and then here's a Milani. I love this one. This is a really good one. I don't know if you can still find it. The palette that I'm going to be working with on the high end side is this melt palette here. This is the Vida palette. And so I'm going to be using from this palette, I'm going to be using like this section here, right here. Cause, you know summer i'm wearing an orange blouse i mean it's just peachy i like that and then uh, from the drugstore or affordable i'm going to be using this bh cosmetics palette called sweet shop orange Sor sorbet and this is what her color story is so oh so ready so uh let's see if we can we can you know dupe it up dupe there it is dupe that right ass all right, so we're gonna we're gonna get close because we're gonna do eyes. So get close. So if you don't know, again, here's the palette, Orange Sorbet by BH Cosmetics. Here's her color story. Let's get into it. We're gonna do this quick. We're gonna spend all day. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna just do it. I ain't got all day just spinning over here. I got stuff to buy. <laughs> There's shopping to do. Now, what I would do is I would go into this fiery sucker here and just go ham, honey, right here. Okay. Damn. 
That's like really bright. Like I was not even trying to do that. Like I'm gonna try to buffer her out because she too much. It's about the same color. I mean, I mean, seems legit. <laughs> Open. Ooh. Oh. Does she have bang in her? Like the BH. Don't make me have to go grab BH on this side. This is like the only shimmer. This one and this one. So it's like a. I think it's an orange shimmer. It's not really a shimmer, really. But we're going to put that on the lid there. Ooh, she a shimmer, though. <laughs> Let me use this one here. It's called Tangy. You know what this proves? Like this proves, yes, you can you can get the same look. Um, but this proves to me that my collection is a sham. <laughs> okay, so eyeliner. I'm going to be using ColourPop on this side. This is a ColourPop liquid liner. It's in black. Just like that. On this side, I'm going to use a Tarte, which is my fave. It's another pen. I don't go all the way across. This side, I'm going to do the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Zero. And then on this side, I'm going to use the Milani. This is the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Linked on Black. My favorite. This is the Lancome Idol, Idole. And I'm just going to put that on. I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to do lash... Ooh, look at... Look at that fallout. I don't think I'm going to do lashes. Because uh, I don't want to. On the drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Essence Splash Princess. All right, and then for lipstick, on this side, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude in Naya, which is my favorite. And on this side, I'm going to be using the Essence, uh, what are they called? The Essence Semi Matte lippies and this is in the color lovable almost identical all right everyone so here is the finished look here is the affordable side and then here is the high end so for the ladies out there that say they can't get my look because they don't got it's not in a budget i just proved to you that it is very much in your budget you just got to go out there and look girl search search it's out there you can get it girl it, it will fit your budget uh here are the total prices of what the whole face costs just so you just for reference um the difference i'm sure this is a much higher price but is it better i don't think so i think they equally look beautiful and if, um, I mean, the, I mean, like if you really look, you can, you know, definitely see the difference in the, the shimmers. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like if you really look, but if you just like walking by, you would be like, damn, that bitch is cute. Regardless on any side, honey, left or right. Okay. I got both sides. <laughs> I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that. Uh, I taught you something or I gave you some information that you didn't know or now you know <laughs> Comment down below which side you like the best and if you're gonna be picking up any uh, any of these items high-end drugstore whichever side uh, I hope that you come back. I hope to see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye